So today's mod is not only going to make the engine bay of my BMW 435 look way better, but it's also going to make it a lot more practical and make it a lot easier to work on. What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be installing something on my 2015 BMW 435 with the N55 in the engine bay that's gonna make it look a lot better. And like I said in the intro, a lot easier to work on and just a lot more practical. So if you haven't figured out already, the mod that we're gonna be installing today from Burger Motorsports is an oil filter housing replacement. So if you guys didn't know already, this is where the oil filter sits, specifically in this BMW N55. Uh, this is also pretty similar for the N54 and like the N20, N26. This oil filter is super annoying to take off. It's like this specific tool. It's not like a socket or something like that, unlike the B58 and the B48. It's this very specific tool, which I find to be a headache especially if you guys change your own oil uh, you guys will definitely know what I'm talking about so this new piece that we're gonna be installing is gonna make it a lot easier to take off and put on and again it's gonna look way better so with that said guys let me just show you the new piece and here it is guys the new oil filter housing as you can tell right off the bat this thing looks really good of course uh, I did go with red the original one is black. If you guys do want to stick with like black or I believe it's gray, they do have other colors, but I chose to go with red because I have some other red accents right over here. And then even my BMS uh, air intake cone is red as well. And I mean, come on, like the red looks so good. But again, guys, if you want a different color, they do offer more options. But yeah, just holding this thing in your hand, it feels like really good quality. It also has Burger Motorsports at the top and bottom over there. You can see right over here, it also says that it was made in the USA. And lastly, something that's pretty cool about it is it actually shows the torque spec right over here. So just a nice reminder whenever you guys are torquing down this filter, or if let's say you take your car to the shop, the torque spec is right there for the people working on it. So of course, guys, this is what I mean by it looks way better. I mean, just the difference between this and this, it's a no brainer. But to kind of go past looks, this thing's gonna be way more practical. So like I was saying before, guys, this original one needs a specialty tool, but this one right over here, just needs a normal socket set. So you have two options. You can either put a 21 millimeter socket around here, or you can actually put a 3 8 directly inside it. Either way will work just fine, but it's nice that you have those options. Again, just a normal socket set will do, whereas this one you need a specialty tool. So like I said, guys, this thing looks way better and it just makes more sense. I wish BMW did this from the factory. Unfortunately, they didn't, but we're gonna swap it out regardless. If you guys do want this, links down in the description below. I just personally think it's gonna make the engine bay look a lot better and just make it a lot easier for me when I do my oil changes now i do have the tool to take off this piece but even when using the tool it is a massive headache i do have a cheap one i believe it's like off amazon or ebay or something like that and whenever i use it, it actually gets stuck on the oil filter housing and it's like a struggle to get it off every single time and i swear guys it is the most annoying thing so obviously to install this new one we're gonna have to take off the old one so what i actually went ahead and did was get a new tool from burger motorsports as well so they sell this piece and they also sell the tool to take off the original one so although I'm choosing to put on this piece just because I think it's gonna make my life easier in the future and again it's gonna look way better if you guys just want a proper tool to take off the original one definitely get the one for Burger Motorsports because it is way better so here are the two tools now you can probably tell right away which one is which so obviously guys this is the cheaper one as you can see here I don't even know what material this is but it doesn't feel the best also the socket they use over here it's like I think a 27 millimeter which is a strange size but this is a tool that I typically use and the one that always gives me issues like I said every time I put this on on the filter and then I turn it it does get stuck on it and I literally have to get like a flathead screwdriver and pry it off of the filter every single time not even just on my car I've literally changed the oil for like my family's cars and my friends cars and this tool does that to me every single time on every single car but this one right over here is from BMS of course as you guys can tell right there it says BMS Burger Motorsports per usual it says made in the US and this one over here it actually tells you at the top this is a 21 millimeter socket, which is a more reasonable size. And yeah, just overall, this thing feels way better. It feels a lot more solid. It's a lot more compact as well, which I like because it fits better in my toolbox. So again, guys, if you're not gonna get the actual replacement, at least get this tool. It is from BMS. This one will also be linked down in the description below. Although I will no longer need this tool for this car because I am putting the updated housing on this one, which doesn't require this tool. I do need the tool to take it off. And then I also need the tool to work on some other people's cars. Again, I changed the oil for like my family's cars and stuff like that. But yeah, the point is guys, just invest in the right tools trust me it'll make your lives a lot easier anyways guys with that out of the way let's go ahead and start installing the new oil filter housing so to do this of course we have to take off the old one so i'm going to take my bms tool i'll undo it obviously guys this is an oil filter housing so just make sure you have some like paper towels or something so that it doesn't leak oil all over the place and then once we have this piece removed we can go ahead and start transferring everything from this old one to the new one right over here All 
so as you guys saw from that clip, I was able to easily remove the oil filter housing. Again, guys, I used my BMS tool right over here. This thing was so much easier. As you can see, I just put a 3 8 extension on it and then just my ratchet. Uh, that works just fine. But again, guys, you can put like a 21 millimeter socket on top right there. But either way works. All right, so as you guys can see, we have the old filter right over here. Now we're going to start transferring all of this to our new one, our BMS one, of course. If you can, guys, I would say time this with your oil change. So since you're going to be taking this out anyways, you might as well do it then and put your new filter. If you guys want, you can just transfer this old one onto the new housing. Although I'm not doing a full oil change, I figured I'd just go ahead and use a new filter. I have a whole bunch of these lying around anyways. If you guys want to do that as well, these filters are pretty cheap anyways. So this should literally just lift up in a way like that. Now, all we need from this original housing is the centerpiece. So to get it off, you basically just want to turn it to the side. You'll feel it like click out just like that, guys. It really shouldn't take too much effort and then just click the rest of it out. After that, you can take your cage and you guys can see within the new BMS housing, it has those same clips inside. You wanna basically just snap this into the new one the same way that you took it out of the old one. So you just wanna take it like that and you should be able to snap it in. All right, and just like that, guys, I think I'm all set. As you can see, it's in there. Again, I can take this old filter, probably just drop it in there, but I'm actually gonna go ahead and use a new one. Uh, something to note, you do also have a gasket on the old filter housing right over here if you guys can see that you want to take a pick tool and basically get underneath there and take it off but again guys since i'm using a new filter it actually comes with a new gasket so i'm just going to go ahead and throw that on the new housing but if you guys are reusing your old filter you're probably also going to be reusing your original gasket so make sure you do not forget that all right so if you're doing like what i'm doing you're just going to take your new filter take it out like that just pop it in Every new filter is also going to come with some new gaskets and also a crusher washer, which obviously, you guys, I'm not going to need today. So we're going to take out the large gasket, get some oil, make sure it is nice and lubricated. Then after that, guys, we should be able to throw it on the new housing. So just like that, bring it all the way down. And that's pretty much it. So we're now ready to put this thing back inside the car. So super easy, guys. You just want to start off by hand threading it. Now you should be able to hand thread it most of the way. You really shouldn't feel too much resistance when doing this. Not until it kind of just gets flush with the actual, whatever you call this. <laughs> so now the benefit of this thing being super easy guys is whereas normally you would need a tool, you can actually just go ahead and get rid of the tool. Again, I'm personally gonna need this later for some other cars that I work on. But for now, all we need is our 3 8 or even like a 21 millimeter socket. Just put it right in. Now you do have to torque this thing down conveniently. It does remind you what the torque spec is, 25 Newton meters. I'm just gonna go ahead and make sure it is hand snug first. Then I'll come back with my torque wrench and I'll tighten it. Just like that guys, it's pretty much snug. Uh, sometimes I don't even torque it down if I'm being totally honest. But you know, if you wanna play it by the book, definitely torque it down. But otherwise you're pretty much done. That's it. All right, guys, and just like that, we were all done. This was super easy and super quick. The only thing that took me long was honestly just filming it. Right off the bat, though, this thing looks so good. Honestly, this red, it's not even just like a normal red. Hopefully, the camera's picking it up well, but it's like a nice deep red. I think this thing looks really, really good. And again, it's super functional. So if you do want to take this off next time, you just take your 3 8 or again, like that 21, and you loosen it just like that. Literally no tool needed except just a normal 3 8 ratchet. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this filter housing. Down in the comments below again i think it makes the engine bay look so much better with that red accent i personally love it and again it's going to make this car easier to work on so it's sort of like a two-in-one more practical and looks way better the tool is super handy as well and it's definitely going to come in handy for future cars that i work on again mainly like families cars and stuff like that i don't know if i'm personally going to get another n55 uh, but who knows anything could happen i think i mentioned it in the intro but this tool as well as the actual oil filter housing from bms is not only applicable to the n55 it's applicable to a whole bunch of different motors you can actually just go ahead and follow the link to bms's website and they have a listing of all the cars that it works on so if you guys wonder if it works on your car you can go ahead and check it out and obviously if you guys want to pick up some for yourselves uh, definitely feel free to but anyways guys with that said that pretty much wraps up this video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did drop it a like and i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.